Shiv Narayan Chandrapal. He comes out in a position that's not foreign to him. West Indies losing an early wicket. And first runs here for Chandrapal. Nicely stroked on the onside. There is no mid on. And a long chase, but only in win. Ball just reaching the fence. So the first boundary for Shiv Narayan Chandrapal. He's gone here, loud shout for catch behind, Barker not interested, the Indians think they've got him. Might just have missed the outside edge, we'll have to take another look. Again, beautifully bowled by Prasad. Brilliant bowling by Prasad, we'll have to listen to this carefully. Well, well there definitely was a sound. And the only thing close to the ball was the bat. Safe. Nothing at all convincing about it from Chanda Paul. But that's a measure of the frustration good bowling can put a batsman under on a pitch like this. He just has to find a release if he can. The salt field is quite fast. It's a long chase for Prasad. And he'll won't overhaul it. That ball didn't lose any pace across the ground. It's been rolled a lot, this outfield. And they're getting full value for their shots. And that's nicely picked away on the onside by Chandra Paul. It seemed as if he heard that call of no ball. Just went through with a shot. And four nice runs on the onside. As we keep on seeing, one flaw being no centuries yet outfield is fast and Kuravela has had a lot of bowling to do during the course of the day and can't make it cracked it away that's another 50 for Chandapal That's his 14th half century in Test cricket. And uh, a lone spectator carrying the Guyana flag comes out to celebrate the occasion. He's exactly 50. That's Chandra Paul, of course, not the fan. And hopefully, as far as Chandra Paul is concerned, this will go on to three figures. Well, that was very short indeed, and Chandapal was waiting for it. It's the best effort from Chandapal and this knowledgeable crowd here. They know that, and they will be urging him to 17 more runs. So the pressure is back on. Not only on the players, even on the spectators. You can see it on their faces. He's a young West Indian hero, Chandra Paul, but still to reach a three-figure mark in Test cricket. And to add to the pressure, Sachin Tendulkar has decided to take the new ball. just get it this time he's pushed it into the straight field he hurries for one will he go back for the third and he does he decides to go for the third and there are a lot of people running onto the field as well it's Chandra Paul's first test match hundred and it's absolute chaos here at the Kensington Oval in Barbados I think from the ball left the bat everyone was convinced that they would have gotten three with that and the stampede started from well before the third run was had started a brilliant innings by shipner and chandra paul west indies certainly needed it he got to the crease with just 10 runs on the board and saw lots of wickets tumbling at the other end but he has held his end together in the end 
helping himself to three figures. So Michael, we still have to find Chandra Paul. He's in there somewhere in the crowd. 363 minutes. He's batted a little over six hours. He's concentrated all the way. As far as he's concerned, I know that he would be feeling he still has a lot of work to do. Finally, he can breathe. Gets a chance to take some fresh air. Gather himself again. And play might just carry on a little while longer. And finally, he gets a chance to do that. This captain in this game, Brian Lara, first out there to give him a hand. No mid off. Long chase here for Sidhu, and this outfield doesn't seem to have lost any of its pace from the first day. So they can go back for three. Oh, he's found the gap, and he's timed it sweetly. That's four. Now that's a lovely shot. You want to watch this again because you don't see him play this very often. I was mentioning the, on the first day, if he could play shots like this more often, front foot off drives, I think he'd get more centuries. But we've had to wait till his confidence is high and he's got 100 runs on the board before he's dared to stretch out effortlessly, I might say, and play it quite nicely. Side. It's gone right through him. The hook shot, and he got too far across. It was traveling. There you see outstanding performance by Chandra Paul. 137. He's got almost half the runs uh, the West Indies have got, and he's still going strong. Loud shout, up goes the finger this time. So, fifth wicket for Venkatesh Prasad and the West Indian innings coming to an end. Just short of that 300 run mark, bowled out for 298. Moab Dillon, the last man dismissed. Well, Venkatesh Prasad certainly has done a lot of hard work. This was his 32nd over and this was just the first innings. Brilliant returns though, 5 for 82 in 31 overs and 4 balls. Last wicket going down his or Shivnarayan Chandra Paul undefeated on 137. Batted 446 minutes. That's a long time to spend at the crease and brilliant knock. And look at that average creeping up all the time 54.8, 13 half centuries. And of course, his first century here, the Swan against India at Bridgetown.